Dirty cables lead to inefficient shifting and can make a bike feel old. Replacing the gear cables will give your bike a new lease of life. If you're taking the trouble to replace your inner cables, then it might be worth swapping the outer housings too. They're cheap to buy, and renewing them will help keep your drivetrain in good working order for longer. This video is aimed at road bikes. If you're looking for help with your mountain bike, click above or check the video description for the link. You're going to need a cable cutter tool, hex keys, paper cloth, chain lube, and some cable end caps and crimps. We're focusing on the rear, but the same principles apply to front shifter cables. The first step is to remove the old cables. Shift the gears to the smallest cog. Cut the end off the cable and release the cable retention bolt on the derailleur. Our Shimano Sora shifters route their cables out of the hoods, but many other models will require that you unwrap the bar tape to replace the outer cable. For advice on removing and rewrapping tape, click above or look for the link in the video description. You can now remove the cables from the bike by removing the inner cable followed by the outer. Finally manipulating the lever so the inner can be removed. Cut the cable outers to match the old ones using your cable cutters. It's important to cut the outer as cleanly as possible so it doesn't end up increasing friction on the inner cable. Sharp cable cutters will make this a lot easier. You can clean up an opening by inserting a pointed object such as a small Phillips screwdriver. Then fit the plastic end caps to the cable outer. Place the inner cable on a sheet of paper cloth and apply some chain lube. Then pinch the cable and drag it through to clean and lube it. Rethread the cable into the lever unit. Hold the cable in one hand and shift the gears with the other to make sure the cable is installed correctly. Place the inner cable into the outer and thread it through. Then place the ends of the outer into the frame mounts. Carefully thread the cable through the bottom bracket guide and fit the remaining cable outer. Cable pretensioning will bed the cables into place, so you don't have to readjust your indexing after a few miles. The process is the same whether you're working on the front or rear derailleur. Pull the cable taut and clamp it to the mounting bolt on the derailleur. Without pedaling, move the shifter through its travel and give it a push. Not too hard, but firmly. Pushing against the tension of the cable pulls everything into place. You now need to index your gears. You can quickly index a rear derailleur by releasing the cable, manually shifting the chain to the second smallest cog, then pulling the cable taut and reclamping it. You may need to fine-tune using the barrel adjuster. For a much more detailed explanation of indexing, or if you need to know how to set up your front derailleur, click above or look for the link in the video description. Once your indexing is set, you can snip off any excess cable, leaving no more than a couple of inches. Then place a crimp onto the end of the cable before pinching it closed with the cable cutter tool. 
If you removed your bar tape to access the outer cable, then now is the time to replace it. For full instructions, click above or look for the link in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the channel. Let us know what you want more of on your bike radar.